My name is Debbie. My name is Me. Michaela. Michaela. Her hearing loss was diagnosed when she was about nine, ten months old and she was fitted with hearing aids, bilateral hearing aids, when she was two. Usher syndrome is characterized by a progressive impairment of hearing and sight. It can arise in an individual from a mutation in one of several genes. Depending on the type of Usher mutation the patient has, hearing loss might be present from birth and blindness develop later in life, or they can both develop at the same time. Patients develop various ways of coping with these levels of disorder. It's awful because it's your child and you don't want to see them suffer with something. Sorry. Mm. Like suffer with something that you can't do anything about. Yeah. All we try and do is make sure Michaela has a full life and as many opportunities as she can so that when things get harder, yeah. The sciences research has focused on curing the hearing loss so that patients don't need to rely on devices to maintain their hearing or to suffer from chronic hearing disorder. Because Usher affects hearing and vision, we've decided to partner with the Lions Eye Institute Professor Fred Chen and his team, hoping that we can develop similar strategies to address the two different disorders. The research to stop something like ashes or help improve mm. the lives of people with ashes would be a huge change. To be able to slow it down or stop it would be amazing. In order to achieve our goals, we're looking to develop a new laboratory requiring new equipment, new project costs to allow our team to work towards these cures for Usher syndrome patients. This is a long-term project, but the value of success in this field to Usher syndrome patients' quality of life is really astronomical.